Hey everyone and welcome to today's Business News Edition. My name is Dean Renfro and I'm here to talk to you today about a real important subject, very dear to my heart as a business owner, but also to for what I know about business owners who have been through the last two years of just difficulty because of the pandemic, all the shutdowns, all the requirements they've gone through and all the issues that business owners have dealt with along with their employees and, and the things that employees have had to go through, whether it's reduced wages or reduced time or even getting laid off or not being able to keep a business open. There's been a lot of elements involved in that. And oftentimes business owners have had to take the blunt of that from a financial perspective and oftentimes even from an emotional perspective of dealing with their business, their dream, and the people that they've had employed and what they've worked hard to build. And uh, it's been difficult uh, for them to say the least. Well, there's been some help out there. Just like for the general populace, there was some stimulus checks uh, to help out people uh, in the general economy, uh, or, you know, population to be able to, 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 be able to have uh, funding. Well, it's been true for businesses, but it's been very a very confusing time for business owners. They, they were plans that were launched to help businesses that where you had to get in line real quick and, and you could get a lot, you could get money in a loan and didn't know where to pay it back or have to pay it back. And, and, and then it ran out. And if you didn't get in line and quick enough, you, you know, you got left hanging and then they reinstituted it and businesses still weren't quite sure about that. And they were having to make all these choices. Well, there's, there's, there's good news for business owners. And I want to talk a little bit about that today as we talk about a, a, a little known government, uh, a program out there to help business owners get back rebate or cash money back to them of money they paid in during this pandemic time that oftentimes they don't know about. Uh, their CPA doesn't often know about it. Their bookkeeper doesn't know about it. And oftentimes just simply because there's a lot of things coming at, at those people uh, and, and those uh, uh, businesses that deal with accounting. And there's a lot of regulations they have to keep up with. And oftentimes when they look at those kinds of things, it's like there's a lot of red tape for this. And just, let's be honest, oftentimes when we hear about these kind of programs, we kind of tend to think, oh, it's going to be one of those deals where I do all this work and I get a few dollars back. Uh, and in this case, what I'm going to talk to you about today, if you stay with me to the end, I'm going to show you where there have been businesses that have gotten tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, even a, a business that got $2 million back that many of you might identify with uh, as a business owner. So it, it, it's a big program. It's a big deal. And so don't fluff it off. Don't say, oh, I heard about that, or oh, I think my CPA took that, or I'll talk to my accountant about that, and, and go ahead. That's fine. But understand, it's, it's very different in the sense of when you're an expert, this is all you do versus a general practitioner who does this, you know, and, and oftentimes in those skills, if we apply that, say, to a medical or to a dentist, a specialist has gone to school longer and learned the specifics about one certain thing. And they know how to do that really well. And matter of fact, oftentimes that's what happens. A doctor or a dentist will refer a patient when there's a problem that they need to deal with. It's not that they don't know about it. It's not that they don't understand it, but it's like, if you really want the best care, I'm going to refer you to a specialist. And so oftentimes that we don't, uh, business owners, we don't realize that when it comes to accounting uh, and, and processing of things like we're going to talk about today. So I'm going to jump into the slides here today and kind of give you a quick walkthrough. Understand I'm not a CPA. I'm not an attorney. I'm not giving you financial advice. I'm not giving you legal advice here. I just want you to be aware of the opportunity that you have to find out. See, that's the thing I often uh, don't un quite shake my head and don't understand about business owners sometimes is they're always looking for that other shoe, that gotcha, what's going to get me here when it just simply just go find out. Just go find out. Take Take a few moments and fill out a form and find out versus saying, oh, I don't qualify or I heard I wouldn't qualify or I think I probably don't qualify. And, and then come to find out you lost out on tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, maybe even millions of dollars that could have come back to you of your hard earned money that you've already paid in and you could have got it back. Well, I know in the economy going forward, this new economy going forward, that's big profit money for a business owner. 
to get ten thousand dollars of profit takes a lot of work. To get a hundred thousand dollars of profit takes a lot of work. So I, I want to encourage you to listen to me today as we walk through this. So let me jump in and put the slides up and get you started. What we're talking about is the employee retention credit, and I'll just kind of give you an overview of where we're coming from and what we're talking about. You may have heard of it. You may have not have heard of it, and that's okay. Your, your CPA may not have heard of it. You may ask your CPA or accountant, bookkeeper about it and say, have you heard of this? And I go, well, I've heard a thing or two on the news, but I really don't know anything about it. That's okay. Don't, ex don't, don't ignore this simply because they haven't heard of it. And because that's oftentimes what we fi have found in the process. So let me just give you a real short overview of what we're going to try to, to, to explain to you today. First of all, and what we're trying to do is understand, give you the opportunity to understand that you can apply online to determine your eligibility for this at no cost. At no cost. No cost to your, no cost to your bookkeeper, no cost to your CPA, no cost to you as a business owner. All, all you simply do is go to the website that we'll give you at the end, and you can just simply go there and fill out these, this short questionnaire to find out if you're eligible. That, that's the first place. Find out if you're eligible. Certainly, it's, if you knew you had $10,000 out there in the, you know, on the front door of the business, that somebody said, if you just go by there and get that envelope, you'll get $10,000, you, you'd probably take time to do that, even if it was to walk to the front of the store, even if it was to drive there to the business and get it. So all we're saying to you is find out. You have nothing to lose but what you could have gotten back by, by not filling out the form. It's, it's fairly simple. Not, it's not difficult. Number two is we're, in, we're industry leaders in the speed and process that, that we're able to help get you uh, amend your, your uh, tax uh, filings amended. Meaning that once we get the required information from you, Oftentimes we see uh, the amending process happening and getting it filed with the RS in five business days or less. Where oftentimes you see uh, CPAs and bookkeepers and, and tax uh, accounting people take weeks and weeks. And, and if they mess it up, it could take you years to get it straightened out. Believe me, we know we, we've had businesses uh, uh, have that situation happen then because they, they took the time to fill out the, credit, uh, the eligibility form and found out they were, even though they were told they weren't, or even though they had filed before and, and found and thought they weren't eligible, we were able to get that straightened out and, and get them back on track for the money that was owed to them. We're willing to work with uh, groups or businesses with as small as five employees. Okay. Five employees. If you're under five employees, it's a case by case thing. But what I'm simply telling you is go fill out the form and find out. Don't assume. Don't assume I, I don't qualify. Assume you do qualify, and all you have to do is fill out this form to find out. Uh, the, the, the fourth thing is we, we, we are going to provide ongoing support for the, the employee uh, retention credit process. So when you file, we're going to be there with you. So if the IRS comes back and needs more information or wants to audit that process, we're going to be there to stand along beside you and help you through that process if, if you're you know, if they ask for an audit, we're going to, we're going to be there for that. So kind of, let's get into the particulars. You may not be familiar with what the ERC is, but ERC stands for employee retention credit. It came about in the CARES Act and was signed into law in March of 2020. It was a COVID economic stimulus program for business people. You might remember that a lot of individual people in the populace got stimulus checks two or three times. I know I did. You probably did too, but you didn't get it for your business, and and your business was was something that needed help. Oftentimes, I know business owners like myself. We took our stimulus check and put it back into our business to keep the doors open. Well, there was help for us out there, uh, and for many businesses, there was this option: you could get the paycheck protection plan if you had employees or employment retention credit. Well, most businesses naturally took the Paycheck Protection Program because it was fat, what I call fast cash. It was a program to get money right back to you. The employee retention credit was a little more difficult. It was more of a credit than it was cash in the bank. Well, like anything, the, 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 the uh, Paycheck Protection Program ran out of money. And people who kind of messed around and 
or procrastinated or thought, well, I need to see kind of how this, but they didn't get money. Even though they maybe had filed for it and gone through all the trouble, they didn't get money. And then, of course, later they, they, they reinstituted that program or, uh, you know, retroacted it and people applied again and, and, and they got money. But the difference in, in the beginning was you couldn't do both. You had to choose one or the other. Well, in, in March of 21, 2021, the IRS released a new notice uh, which allowed businesses to now participate in both the PPP program and the ERC. And it was retroactive back to March of 2020, which is, that's great for business owners. They just had to re file amended 941 returns. And that helped them be able to get some of that money back. But what happened for a lot of businesses was that, that was a, it was a lot of red tape. It was a lot of form filling out and it was confusing as to what had to be done. So a lot of times no action was taken. And we all know, we all know the adage, a confused mind doesn't act. It, it freezes, it, it stalls out, it hesitates, it procrastinates. So this tax credit, as we know, as it's called, is all. But don't get, don't get, uh, don't get deceived by that. Don't, don't get thinking. Okay, tax credit. I, I don't need tax credit. I need cash. Well, this tax credit that we're talking about, this in, in, the employee retention tax credit, is actually a rebate, cash money paid back to you by the IRS and U.S. Treasury. There's no dollar limit on the amount of uh, a business can receive back. It's based on what they paid in uh, through their employment taxes. And there's no requirements on how you spend the money. So it's your money. You paid it in. You should get it back. Originally, it only applied to 2020, but the American Rescue Plan, which was just passed here in 2021, extended the, the, uh, the timeline uh, for when a business could apply. And it interacts or engages with the PPP program, where every dollar of wage can potentially be used for either program, but not both. And there's a specific methodology to optimize between the two programs. Many CPAs, book count, uh, bookkeepers and accounting firms, and even tax accountants don't know how that works. Our company is specialized in that. Our company is specialized in that. And, and so it makes a difference for everybody. It, it, so what it does, it requires a knowledge of who you are as a client. There's some things we, we want to get to know you. We want to, we want to find out your circumstance. We don't want to treat you as a, in a cookie cutter fashion, right? And unique details of how it impacted your business in uh, how COVID impacted your business in those two years. And, and then of course there's payroll details that have to be shared. The same thing you share with your accountant or your uh, CPA or, your tax account. And so what we found out is, is that it, it can be a difficult process for people who don't do it, who aren't experts at it. And uh, the best analogy I can get you is, is, is the concept of if you have to have a molar pulled as a, from a dentist, you will find today that most general dentists have studied molar structure and they know about molar structure. But as soon as they find out that you've got three roots or four roots, they're going to send you to a specialist that deals just with that because it takes special skills to be able to do that. It's not that they don't know about it. It's not that they don't know the procedures of how it works, but they want to send you to a specialist. What we're telling you is go to a specialist firm that can help you. It's worth it to your business. Believe me. So here's a little bit about it. I'm just going to kind of run through this again. I'm not a CPA or an attorney, so I'm not giving you advice here. I'm just explaining how the program works. There must be W-2 employees. You must have filed a 941 in 2020 and 2021 or either or both. You may have been out of business in 2021 and, and, and didn't follow those, but you did in 2020 for your employment in 2019. Okay. So it, it affected your business. Uh, it, you must have, uh, there, there's kind of a balance there in 2020, less than 100 employees in 2021, fewer than 500 full-time employees. Now, the number of, uh, of part-time employees doesn't matter. It's, it's the number of full-time employees. Uh, and, and it goes by calendar year. Okay, It goes by the quarters of the calendar. And that, that's an important part. Uh, and then also understand that 
if you were in a uh, government shutdown state, a stay-at-home mandated state, it was ordered by either the government or your state government or even your county government, if that requirement is met, even if you may not have, quote, lost money or been uh, somehow inadvertently re uh, uh, crippled as a business owner, it doesn't matter. It's, it all is about uh, did these criteria happen in your in, in the state you live in uh, as, an, as a business? Now, it also applies to nonprofits like churches and, and nonprofit private schools. It applies to charities. Uh, so it applies to other entities outside of the business world. So just be aware of that, because oftentimes I get, uh, you know, charities or nonprofits saying, well, you know, it, it, it didn't crush us. We didn't go out of business. You know, uh, we were shut down for a while, but the people came through for us. But it did affect you don't know the effect that COVID may have had on what would have happened in 20 and 21 had you been uh, in full operation. So I would encourage you, just take the opportunity, go file and find out. You may be surprised, pleasantly surprised, excitingly surprised about what about what happens in the process. So uh, it, here's some of the things about the program benefits, 50% of wages in 2020, 70% up, uh, up to $10,000 per employee in 2021. So that's the, that is if you take the three quarters, you know, in 2021 and the five, four quarters in 2020, you, you will find out that you get, uh, you know, $28,000, $30,000 that could come back to you as a business owner. So here's the thing, though. Here's kind of the kicker to it all. And while we're telling you about this, uh, it, it goes to the end of 2021 or until the infrastructure bill went into effect. And when it did, it ended the program. However, we can backfile because that, the business have three years to, to amend the process of their 941. So that's why we're encouraging businesses get in right now before other things change. Now, may they come back in this program and update it and extend it? They might, but we don't know. We don't have any clue. Enough. So what we're telling you to do is go Go find out. Go find out if you're eligible. You just have a few minutes of your time is all it takes. Okay. So here's some examples of some businesses of what they've got back. A restaurant, single location steakhouse, $213,000, right? A, a sandwich shop, multi-location sandwich shop, $371,000. A hair salon, $107,000. I don't know about you, but as a business owner, if I were to get that, if I could get that kind of money back for this next year for to use as profit in my business, think what it would do for your business. Think what could happen in your business. Now you might, uh, but here's what I know. Right now, you're not going to miss it because you don't have it. You've already paid it out. But if you were to get it back, if you were to get it back like, one of the businesses got $630,000 back. That's a huge amount of profit to get back. It's stimulus to business owners. Why would you not go fill out the form and find out? I, I, don't, I don't know why you would not do it, right? I don't know why you would not do it. So, again, I just want to run over... Uh, kind of the final things, why you should do this. Number one, we, we you can apply online. No cost to you to find out if you're eligible for the employee retention credit. Okay. We're experts at this. Our company is a nationwide CPR, CPR, uh, 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 nationwide, a nationwide CPA firm. I lost my words there with all these R's and initials. CPA firm that specializes in this employee retention credit program. So we move faster and get it moving faster for you. So what does that mean for you? You get your money back faster, right? We're willing to work with groups, uh, uh, employee and businesses that have groups, ministries, nonprofits, charities that have as small as five employees. But don't let that stop you. Don't try to figure that out. Just go apply 
if you had W-2 employees and follow 941 in 2020 or 2021 or both, go fill out the form. It doesn't take, but just it, it takes a matter of, of, of a minute or two to get started and find out. And then we'll assist you if there's any kind of IRS audit or questions or, or what's going on here with this, where did these numbers come from? We'll be there for you. So what I want to encourage you to do is go right here to this website, www.rescueplanrebate.com. There's a little short video there that explains it. Most of the things I've shared here are, are explained to you on that pro, on that website. Go down to the bottom and fill out the form. Okay, fill out the form. You'll get a response back uh, from our team. We'll be right on it. We have people standing by to, to look at your file, to figure out, yes, this person qualifies. They'll reach out to you and say, here's the next steps you need to take. And then all you have to do is follow through. Just do what they ask you to do. It's nothing, nothing hard, nothing difficult. And then they will help you get, if you qualify, if you're eligible, they'll help you get filed for this and then tell you what you're going to be able to get back. So again, I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you to take action today. Take action today on this. Don't wait around. Don't procrastinate. I know there's a lot of things going on. Christmas season is coming. This is Cyber Week and all those kinds of things. And, and if you're watching this after the first week in December, I, it's okay. Go take care of it. Don't mess around. Don't wait. Again, I appreciate you being with it. And, and as a business owner, I, I just want to tell you, profit is hard to come by. Profit is hard. We're, we're good as business owners to make 3 and 4% clear profit. But imagine all the money you could get back if you qualify, if you're eligible for this. That is just pure profit for your business. Again, thanks for being with me. Again, my name is Dean Renfro. Thanks for being here at this portion of the Breaking News edition. And we look forward to seeing your name on that list and seeing your business get money back from the employment employment. Employee Retention Credit Program, the ERC. So, hey, we look forward to seeing you soon. Have a great day.